Combining sensor networks with camera networks can be very powerful. In this example, we see how sensor networks can help us automatically generate video summaries. The user specifies a spatiotemporal query. The results from that query index into a video database. A video summary is assembled from that database. This is possible because the system understands the relationship between the sensors and the cameras. This relationship can be learned automatically. We can improve the effectiveness of these systems by including higher level models of human behavior. A tracklet abstracts away the individual motion activations into a higher level model. This abstraction allows us to reason over longer spans of time and larger spans of space. Ambiguities in the data are represented as junctions, which knit the individual tracklets into a graph as a complete explanation of the data. Here we see the raw motion activations displayed in the interface. Once they are overlaid with the tracklet graphs, we can see the begins, the ends, and the ambiguities. In this example, we use the tracklets to refine our searches. Let's search for an individual by asking the system to find us the beginning of a tracklet. The result is a tracklet representing someone leaving their office. At this point, there's an ambiguity that must be resolved. The system presents the available video and motion evidence, and the user makes a decision. Once the ambiguity is resolved, the user walks the rest of the graph to generate a complete description of the activity. The description will include the motion traces and all the video evidence that the system has. Here we play back the story of someone's coffee break. The comprehensive motion data from the sensor network is displayed on the map on the right. It gives meaning to the limited video data by placing it in the context of larger activity.